Hi everyone, super excited for you to join us today on Subsea Connect TV Lightning Talks. My name is Alex Senua. I lead the services and offshore growth hub where we explore and develop innovative, disruptive solutions for that of our customers. Today, I'm joined by my digital leader. Ciao, Fabrizio Siracusano, Global Digital Growth Leader for Subsea Services and Offshore. Nice to meet you. So today, we will be talking about lifecycle management and how leveraging Engage Subsea, which is our digital platform, how to be able to support that of our customers. But before we jump into this topic, I would like Fabrizio to give you a bit of a flavor of what Engage Subsea is. Thank you, Alex. So uh, Engage Subsea is our modular digital platform. This is the place where different apps sit uh, to give a holistic ecosystem in order to assist the full life cycle management for our customers in terms of uh, equipment and control systems let's say maintenance activities. Now, the platform is composed of, of different functionalities and every functionality is addressed to a specific user persona. But if we want to gather in three mainstreams, so three main families, all the apps, basically we have a first group which is related to asset integrity, a second one which is related to, let's say project management, and the third one, which is the most fancy one at the moment, is about remote operations. Well, Fabrizio, I think one thing I will tell you, so I was reading an article last week by The Economist, right? And it was talking about digital transformation. Obviously, we know how the pandemic has really modeled the way we work. Uh, from the article, they talked about the fact that because of the pandemic actually termed it uh, digital acceleration, um, the way technology has been advanced is moved almost like five years. So think about it now. As of now, being in 2021, the platforms, the technology that we are leveraging is equivalent to that of technology that would have come out in 2025, 2026, thereabout. This for me is a testament of how humanity, how we've really adopted to technology. And as a matter of fact, it comes back to working remotely. I know when we got into the pandemic mode, most of our customers we're still looking at us to be able to provide some form of asset management remotely. And I know we had to jump and come out with a solution, which we did. We came out with what we call Engage Subsea Remote. So can you give our audience a flavor about what Engage Subsea Remote is? Sure, absolutely. So oh, this is awkward to say, but actually the pandemic accelerated the digital evolution even in the most conservative, uh, let's say, business ecosystem. And this is also our case, the oil and gas. So funny story on this. Basically, when the pandemic started, our people, our field service engineering team, right? So people acting on premises for maintenance, for recertification, inspections, started to, to, to struggle because basically there were huge limitations for traveling. So no flights, you cannot enter specific, you know, areas, regions. So this was a pain point for us. And so together with our people, we started to do investigation and trying to find how can we do this? How can we do this? And at a certain point, basically we came out with Engage Sub-C Remote. So Engage Sub-C Remote became the enabler to make our field service engineers continue to work on site Give, because it gives a sort of on-prem experience to people sitting remotely. Likewise, they are there. Likewise, they are in presence. And so this made smarter the field service engineering activities. But then our customers saw that we were using this enabler for our staffs. So and they say, what is it? I mean, this is great. This is fantastic. And so we understood that there was more room for expansion for this tool. So Engage Subsea Remote became part of our offer into our digital modular platform. It became a module in our Engage Subsea. <laughs> That's the story. I love it. And I like what you said, the evolution, right? Obviously due to the, the COVID. But I think, you know, work remotely has come to stay, right? And I'm glad to see that we have, you know, Engage Subsea Remote to be able to support asset lifecycle management. 
let's talk a bit about obsolescence management. Now, like anyone buying in a car or buying a TV, you always ask, is this thing going to be there for me for a long time? Is it going to be reliable? Or when is it going to be obsolete? And the reason why you ask yourself this is that you want to know in a very proactive way how you need to be able to either maintain or manage your assets. Going back to that of our customers that are offshore, they are always eager to understand with the equipment, when is it going to be obsolete? When can they change? When can they upgrade it? All of these are questions that we've had our customers ask us time and time again. And I think because of that, we've developed the engaged subsea obsolescence management. Could you talk a bit about it in terms of what it is and how it supports that of our customers when it comes to asset lifecycle management? Sure, sure. So when I think about obsolescence management, and you spotted correctly. So when you buy something, you want to know when you need to upgrade to replace a specific spare parts or even just refurbish, whatever it is. The thing is that you want to know it and you want to know it earlier in time to intervene with the minimum impact on your on your money, on your budget. So basically, this is the, the purpose of, of that function. So obsolescence management functionality sitting into Engage Sub C is an advisor to know earlier what is going on, what is going to be a pain point in future. So it's not just about knowing it, it's also about knowing it in time. But the thing is that once you know there is a problem, you want also to understand how to sort it out. And that's the reason why I would talk about, uh, let's say, holistic perspective, uh, ecosystem into Engage Sub C. Because guess what? In Engage Sub C, there is also another functionality called uh, online store, where basically you can purchase what you are missing. So once you detect the obsolescence, then you can buy it with a seamless continuity. This is where the customer finds a practical, let's say, help. No, I like the way you said it, the ecosystem. I will even put it in terms of having a platform that becomes a one-stop shop. So yeah. you're telling the customer your component is going to be obsolete. Guess what? You can order it from the online store and you have that seamless thread working between obsolete management and buying that of the component. I'm always fascinated about the power of data, right? I'm sure most of you have heard about big data. Um, the truth of the matter is when it comes to oil and gas industry, we actually harness less than 1% of the actual data out there. Now, fast forwarding it, we know that the new oil out there is data. And the question is, how can we harness this? And how can we use this data to advise our customers when it comes to asset cycle management? We have this model called condition monitoring. And I think for me, it addresses the problem. Can we take data from the top side? Can we take data from subsea? And out of it, we do some form of analysis and then advise our customer in terms of how they need to manage their assets. Fabrizio, can you add a bit of context in terms of what you think about the condition monitoring in Engage Subsea? So Alex, you know, I am Italian, I can talk very much, but, and in this case, we could talk for hours on the topic. So first and foremost, why we collect the data? Data means information. Why we want to have more information? Because in this way, we can take more informed decisions, right? So starting from the end, a practical concept. We want to make informed decisions. Our customer wants to do informed decisions. Now, how can we support this process? Let's go in a reverse way, starting from the end. If I want to have an accurate picture of what is going on under the sea or on the top side, with, so for my asset, I need two things, historical data and real-time data. This is how Engage Sub C as a modular platform is conceived. Different streams of information, we call it data, streams of information coming in the same bucket. Historical, so what happened in the past, lesson learned, whatever, and what is going on right now, so real-time monitoring. Condition monitoring is about real-time information from control systems, from equipment, from your well heads, from whatever. In this way, we reconnect what happened in the past with what is going on now. But a warning is not what the customer wants. So the real value is that once you get your red alarm saying, eh, 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 there is a problem, there is a problem. Okay, so what? 
is the advisories, the last mile connecting information, richness of information in decision making is recommendations, giving advisories to our customers. This is where we are heading. This is where we concentrate more of our interest. We want to suggest our customers what to do with those. Once we receive the information, we process those information in light of our, let's say, industry knowledge. And of course, related also to our equipment, right? That we manufactured. And then we can suggest what to do, what comes next. This is where we find our. I like, I like your statement, what next? right you are showing the data you are displaying the data so yeah you connected you displayed but what next the advisory is for me the true value that a customer wants and i think the condition monitoring app within engage subc is able to address it listen i i would love to talk forever and i think for Fabrizio, you said you could equally do the same but at the end of the day i think we've touched on three key points here when it comes to asset lifecycle management we have engaged subc remote to be able to work remotely and still provide the necessary support when it comes to maintenance of assets. We have obsolescence management. This helps us to be able to predict when a component or equipment is going to get obsolete. And based on that, we'll be able to advise the customer when to change it. And if you want to change it, you'll be able to leverage the online store to do that. And I think last but not least, but most importantly, is condition monitoring, harnessing the data, displaying the data, and then giving advisory on how to be able to maintain the asset. I think this is something that Engage Subsea can do, and obviously our customers are really excited about that. So folks, thank you very much, obviously, getting time to connect with us. Today. I hope at least it's been a very engaging discussion. If you need more information about Engage Subsea, please go to the Baker Hughes website slash Subsea Connect TV to get more information. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Thank you so much.